Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974 back at you with another episode of our KSP career game. Sorry it's been a little bit, but uh, it is kind of summertime, so I'm going to explain a little bit. I know I had some videos coming out before summer came out uh, that were, you know, pretty, you know, two week. But unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to only go to one video a week for uh, the two remaining series that I do have running, which is uh, Kerbal Space Program and my ARC game. Just because I don't have the, a huge amount of time to do the recordings myself right now, I don't have the quiet time. If you watch some of my um, newer Minecraft videos, you find out that uh, I have a house full, full of children and unfortunately it's hard to get that quiet time. So until school starts, I'm, the videos are going to be a little bit less, but I will try to get them out to you guys as much as I possibly can. So today, uh, I kind of did a little boo-boo. So let's uh, let's look. I actually started doing another episode, but I actually forgot to actually record it. So what I did is I took, uh, went to our Minma station. I took a crew there, and I transferred some of the scientists over, and I... Uh, I hired a new scientist, uh, this person right here, what is her name, uh, Hilly Kerman, and of course Trithis was the one that we brought to Eve, to fly by Eve, and she, um, and I rotated out the old scientist because we're going to use him on our next mission that we're going to start getting ready for now. But what I want to show you is that, remember how she got upgraded, so she has two stars now? Well, if we look at the data rate now that I get, I actually get 2.8465 science a day now. Uh, that this is what I get a day because now I have the two scientists. Plus, she's a quite a, a higher level person, so that's why it's always wise to upgrade your scientist and use them as quick as possible. That is why I sent her to Eve, and that's why I did what I did. So yeah, we sent the we sent the vessel over here. It was a whole episode. Uh, got her. Uh, transferred the crew, put these two new people in, and put, uh, brought the other guy back and landed. And unfortunately, I forgot to actually uh, record that. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But anyway, so today I want to start concentrating on getting to a planet I have never really landed on. And I would like to land on Drez. Now, that is not as easy as it may sound, because Drez is quite a little monster to get to, just because it is, uh, well, it's not as bad as, say, Moho, and maybe it's about the same as Jewel. It's just getting to orbit, and then you have to land and all that stuff. So I don't know if we actually have the technology to actually get there, but we do have 951 of uh, this, so we can do some upgrades here. So I'm going to see what we can get that might help us on our way. Now, we can start getting into some of these uh, uh, fission reactor, a nuclear fuel drum... I'm not quite sure. These must be the add-ons that I added. Hydrogen tank. Let's take a look what we can do here. It's 160. We could, of course, just upgrade the rest of this line, but I do want to see if there's any other engines. That's a shielded docking port that might help us on our way. And lane line. What do we got here? That's the whiplash. We don't want to get into the planes yet. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I really don't see any thing that's going to help us. Huh. Well, I guess the best thing we can do then is to upgrade this to make sure we got this whole Mazda's upgrade this whole line. I don't really need the grappling unit right now. And got the reaction wheel, the Vernon engine, water propellant. Yeah, we can use that. So I'm gonna grab those. And this has the pro the hex and the Micro node, cubic struts. Uh, there's another decoupler. 
stack decoupler. I'm just gonna grab that. And I think we're gonna grab the nuclear reactor. And I can grab one more. What should I grab? A hydrogen tank. The medium hydrogen tank line is nothing special. In fact, it didn't even get an eye-catching name. A good hydrogen, which I believe is what. Oh, that's liquid fuel. So we could do that. Hmm. It's a hard decision, I tell you. Uh, yeah, I could get into the whiplash. Start doing planes. I'm not really into that yet. Maybe I'm just going to save. Oh, we could use. That is the flat version. Hmm. Well, anyway, let me, uh, we'll go back to this later. I know it's hard to get up here. I really just want to get into uh, the heavy rocketry, but unfortunately, that isn't going to happen until we upgrade this. So, getting to Mohu. Now, do we want to send a manned mission there, or do we want to actually send that? If we do a manned mission, it's going to have to be quite the vessel to uh, get that up there. So, let's see what I can put together here. Maybe I should only send one guy. No, we'll send, we should send everybody we can. So let's actually, we would need a lander and everything else. Hmm. Hmm. This might be harder than I thought to set this up. We could technically just do a flyby again. And use I do have that Pegasus crew pod what see I don't remember what these are it's actually been a while since I've played so, the Pegasus is not what we brought to the moon. There's no way that, I mean, not. Let me. Do station, station, Titan Lander. Titan Lander, Titan Moon Launcher with Alien M. What was this thing? Let me take a look. Is this something I never did? Probably not. All right. Hmm. <laughs> oh God, I'm trying to remember what the hell I had here. Nebula. Yeah. So these are all. Uh, yeah, I must have took it. I it must have been in. Um, the Pegasus that I, I launched. Oh, by the way, I also just, I also just upgraded to Windows 10, so that might be. All right, so can we get any more out of the Pegasus crew pod? Because it only goes six, seven, four, five. The only way to do that would be to actually pull these off like that. We'll uh, go mark two, something like that. That way we don't delete anything. And we could add a strut here. Let's see, TT70. I think this is the big, no, that's not the big one. Is this the big one? No, that's not the big one. I don't have any big ones. Oh, here it is. Okay. So we'll put the big one like this. I do want 
that on there. There we go. And I will grab some fuel tanks. Let's see. Hmm. It goes something like this. It doesn't look like it landed right. Let me see here. It still doesn't look like it landed right. What in the world is going on here? Yeah, there's not something wrong here. Oh, there we go. I think it's just the way that um, these are kind of drawn. They look weird. All right. So if we double these up, we could do a three stager like that. And we could go to engines. The hell can I use for an engine on that? Not the main sail, because that's way too much. Oh boy. Where is what's this one? Nope. Um Ah, the skipper might have to be the one. And if you put these together somewhat like that we get 149 out of that but if we kind of mess with it and we make sure that this fuel tank always has fuel that 7539 now what happens when we add say another set of tanks Gives us eight four, but it drops us way down. That'll never get us off the ground, so we'd have to upgrade the engines. Do do. Ah, the Badger rocket. Nope. Well, we have to go mainsails the whole way? Very possible. Very possible. I'm not even sure if that can... Uh, that will do it. Let me see. Aerodynamics wise. What can we do here? Too small. Too small. Boop, boop, bee. Could, no. Any more nose cone? We could go like, oh, that's just, that's not even what I think it is. That's way too small. Aha! Oh! There we go. So, that's quite the rocket there. We can do 7, 9, and if we go like this, that's 204. And we can kind of shrink these down a little bit. To like 150 that's 8,000 I'm still not sure if that can even make it to moho or not I'm not used to the new uh, the new values that we need to use to actually uh, get to places but we can put this in and make sure we're all good to go we can uh, call it the mark 2 uh, it's, it's quite a quite expensive 142 I'm gonna think that we're gonna probably have to have some torp of some type of uh, uh, engine separator here like a separatron that will ensure that these do not mess with our poor little vessel here when it does separate 
So if it goes like that and that, when will that happen? We just have to make sure that when they set, they go like that. And that is how you do that. Now this I know is also not very good. Put that like that. And what I should have also is there is no decouple for that. That is really a bummer. Alright, we'll like that. Alright, so I would say that is all set to go. We definitely should have I would say now that I have it I did research it right yeah there it is advanced reaction wheel that will help control the vessel when we are uh, going up going on up and we can save that maybe we should just do a, a tuna trip so this okay so how I did de I develop this is to basically uh, fly you know we could just do another flyby if we wanted to with Mohu but I'd rather land I'm pretty sure I could make a uh, lander maybe we can launch two vessels maybe this one that will get us back get us there and back and then a lander maybe but uh, we'll have to get to that a little bit later let's see if we can do a contract here to get some more money because I notice my money's a little bit down so we do need to do some more upgrades uh, fly plant very tourist safely to their destinations and back I believe I checked that out that is a Mars mission uh, very VIP to our destination we won't make any money off of that well the new orbital station we could try Uh, do, 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 do. Very two. What are these guys? Land on the moon. Fly by the moon. Doesn't pay all that much. It doesn't look like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have all that much. Okay, launch new research satellite. This is one of my missions. Ah, this is one of the research ones. Okay. All right, yeah, so let's do this one. And we'll go here. I do have, uh, I should have a satellite already made that we can uh, adjust to this. So what we're going to do is next episode, I'm going to design. I think I, I was thinking of this. I took a little break here. You guys didn't actually notice it. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send two rockets together to... Uh, do this this mission in the next couple episodes and one will have a lander and one will have this and hopefully together you know this is going to probably use the same rocket parts just this part up here will be different we'll, we'll put some type of lander up here do something with it and uh, we'll try to get there from there we do have the mark II lander can so this might that might work out but let's get some money going because obviously that's going to cost us some money to, to launch that mission so, the interplanetary probe, I should have a satellite, 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 aha, not sure what it is, but we'll look at it, oh, that's an that's a odd looking thing, ain't it, aha, but it is set up right, which is good, delete the fairing, what are these, oh, those are the LFO, okay, so, We'll grab this, we'll go to utility, and I have to look for the science part, uh, the research research part that I need. So this mission, if we can find it here, uh, enter orbit around curve in APA of at least 1845, yeah, so it's, you know, it's a big number. <laughs> Send data stream and connect satellite to customers, have part type repair panel. Does this have a repair panel on it? No, we'll have to add that. Uh, have part type repair panel launch new unmanned probe. Yep. 
Thus, it must survive. So the note will tell us what we frequency is the used core type research. So I believe that is right here. So, yeah, so this is the RCM55 research. This is part of my mission controller mod. Not quite sure why it's open, but whatever. Go for it. Is that like a issue here or what? I should have a thing here to fix that, but doesn't look like I do. Hmm. No, well, that's a bummer. I might have an older uh, version of that in there. I do mess around with this every once in a while. Apologize about that. That shouldn't be opened, but I'm just going to keep going on. It should not interfere with the actual mission. Let's put this down. So the frequency uh, set module type in editor 3. So module type 3. And frequency to 47.5. Is that going to work? Yeah. There we go, 47.5. And it's a research core. That's good. Let's add the mission controller repair panel. I'll do the smaller ones. I'll do. I'll make this symmetrical, so we'll do it on both sides. There we go. And now we'll set up the build the fairing. Build the fairings. Really? It'll be a butthead like that. Wow! Come on! Thank you. What does this cost? 17000 This should still work, shouldn't it? 662. Yeah! Screw it. Let's do it. Alright. Let's make sure this all works. There we go. Also, when I do these videos, I have to shut my AC off. So I'm literally, like, sweating to death right now. Part type repair panel launch new one, man. Okay, so everything is good. Only thing we have to worry about now is the inner orbit of Kerbin with an APA of at least that. Okay, that's all good. This one's a little bit easier. So, launch! Another satellite mission. To boldly go when no Kerbal has gone before. But in this case, we have gone here many times. So, wah! Let's get there. And oh, Bob Kerman, we still remember you, Bob. We remember. All right, here we go. This is surprisingly pretty stable until we get to a certain speed, and then it will. If you notice, I took I turned my uh, my remote control off here or my SAS. Goodbye, sweetheart. Okay, now it's getting a little itchy here. There we go. So what we gotta bring this to? That's one. I have to count one, two, three. Oh, I can't count one, two, three. So it's it's basically just under two million. Do, 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 do. We're at 31. We can actually uh, get rid of this protective shield. Yeah, see, that's still open. That is not supposed to be like that. You bad boy. You bad boy. You're not supposed to do that. 
Alright, so bring this down. Use that. Let's take a look at what we are at our altitude here. Oh, there's our space station one. Hey, nobody has ever asked to name that, by the way. I wouldn't have to name it myself, I guess. 67,000. By the way, when you do play the Mission Controller, I've had a few people ask me uh, that they can't get these uh, the APAs and the PEAs in line. Well, if you look at the numbers, they're supposed to be <laughs> they're very they're both the same. It basically wants you to be within about a thousand meters of what those numbers are at. So, uh, if you go above one eight four five seven three two it won't work or if you go below one eight four four uh, six three two it won't work it has to be a, a a thousand right yeah I had that right yeah a thousand so that's something to keep in mind if you guys are playing and we'll go like that how are we doing here so we're at four five and yeah, and it can be a little bit tricky to do that, but it is not that hard, guys. It really isn't. I'm probably going to mess it up. Because it's been a while since I played Kerbal Space Program. I've been playing some ARC. What are we at? So 1845. 1, 6, 7, 8, 8, 4, 2, 4, 5, 7, 3, 2, 4, 5. I'm just going to leave it just like that for now. And we'll adjust this orbit once we get... Oh, yeah. Do not forget my solar panels. Oh, they're already on there. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I forgot it. I should set this up for it's as close as I possibly can do. One eight four. Boop. Oh, that went way by, didn't it? Yeah. You see the little boop it did there? Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. One six five. There it is. All right, so that is good. Holy crap, it is hot in here. Another reason why I have a hard time doing videos is uh, it gets very, very hot in here when uh, in the middle of summer when you can't have the AC. Can't have the AC going, by the way, guys, because you would hear it in the background since it's almost right next to me, and I can't edit it. I, can, I do I do use uh, software editing to uh, try to uh, minimize the background background noises like my computer and stuff sometimes that's probably why I sound a little tinny sometimes it's because it's uh, my, my I got a pretty good microphone but I don't have any of the um, any of the hardware attached to it that helps with that so it makes it a little difficult sometimes oh I actually missed that node I am such a doofus all right come on come on Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, it does not. I've tried. It does not work with the AC. The AC, my voice becomes really, really tinny when uh, I try to get rid of the AC sound. So it's never going to be an option. Enter orbit around Kerbal with AP. I got the APA set right. So which one is that? That's this one. 1852, 184. That's, yeah, that's about right then. All right. So this one is way low. Okay. So let's get this going around and around and around. By the way, you can't send the data until you actually uh, get this right. Oh, wow. My APA just went away. You don't like me. All right, so here we go. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually, since I'm right here, I'm gonna decouple this. Can we do that? Yes, we can. And I'm going to do this manually. 
Now it turns very, very much better. That is the wrong. That's the retrograde. We need to be prograde. Oh, that's so annoying. I gotta remember to fix that. Hopefully your guys' doesn't do that. I'm pretty sure I fixed that. I just didn't fix it in this one. I might not even have the, the latest update in here. All right, so one, eight, four, five. One, eight, four, two, four, five. There we go. So that is good. One, eight, four, five. Yeah, so that's within. So now we have to get back to the PE and we have to adjust this one down, right? Nope. I have to adjust it up. All right. I can do that. I hope the technology. One, eight. No, actually, I got to go down, right? Yep. Down. One, eight, four. Damn it. I lost the orbit again. One, eight, four. Five, one, eight, four, five. Okay, so that's good. How the hell did I lose that? All right, do this again. Yeah, so I do make it a little bit difficult. I do have an update coming out pretty dang soon that fixes that and allows you to have a little bit more of a leeway on that. As you know, it's kind of it's kind of difficult to do. When I was working on it, it wasn't all that difficult. But um, I don't I don't mind doing this because uh, it's it makes it fun for me. But maybe it doesn't. No, maybe it's not so fun for you guys. There we go. So now we need to send the data stream. Uh, this, uh, da, 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 da. We can get some uh, research here. Let me uh, look up this. So we got thirty-seven point two. We'll send that out. Yes. All right, let's do that after. After. I don't want that module to not work. Start data link up. Boop, boop, boom. And then the mission's done. 152,000. Oh, and it closed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So review data. And we'll transmit. Yes, we'll transmit. That will send out its information. We'll get some uh, science from that, which is always good. Oh, electric charge. Electric charge is not doing good. Let's try this again. So we'll just do some. Uh, oh. There we go. We'll go back to the Space Center since that mission is completed. Be all good. Yeah, score read. We're all good. 341. We did get a few more of that. We got that up there a little bit. So there you go. That's it for this episode, guys. We'll work on getting to getting that other mission going, getting the lander made, and everything in the next episode. So as always, guys, this is Malcolm, 1974. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you later. Malcolm, out of here.